This is Who Say Q&A. I'm Caitlin Becker with all the questions. And here with the answers today is the amazing hungry girl who is better known as Lisa Lillian. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks I for having me. I'm so excited to have you here. There has been, I think for a lot of people, a very noticeable sort of meteoric rise in the food industry, in food blogs, in regular people getting involved. What is it about food and eating that has created this massive, massive world? Food is life. I mean, we need food to eat, and people are obsessed with food. And the more we're obsessed with social media and taking pictures of everything and selfies and food photos, people just want more and more and more of it. I mean, you saw it on Food Network with all the food porn, and people want to see things even if they don't necessarily want to eat them. I feel like there's different categories of food. Because I love the food porn. I love to look at pictures and videos of things I would never in a million years eat. And yet, I like to see things that are like, oh, well, that's a good idea. I'm going to make that tonight. So I feel like food is just, it's here to stay. I mean, the more food TV shows, food videos, food websites, I, it's just, it's growing and growing. But in there, I feel like it, there's a little bit of that dangerous moment when there's the food porn and the obsession and you think you can and should eat and celebrate with food in that kind of indulgent way every single day. It seems like... Hungry Girl is even more important to sort of slide into that mix to create awareness of what you're eating. I have to imagine in your business, awareness of what you're consuming is so important because like you said, it is life. It, it is, and I think a lot of people tend to use, they make excuses for what they eat. I'm too busy, I don't have any time, I went out to dinner, I was on vacation, I saw this place on Food Network. You know, no matter where you are. Those sound like my excuses. It's, See, but no matter where you are and what you're doing, you can make a smarter choice. And it's all about people sort of taking ownership and responsibility for their actions. It's like, I'm not perfect. I'm not like a size zero. And I'm not a person who doesn't indulge in birthday cake on my friend's birthday. Like, you have to learn how to balance. And if you plan ahead and you get in front of it, which is an expression that I've been using a lot, and you think about it and take ownership of what you're eating and what you're doing, you can succeed at it.